name is Pascal Corbet and today I want to show you a little bit about video interviews and how to present in an online webinar without having to become completely media savvy but just to avoid a couple of the serious blunders that you can run into. I know you are a thematic expert and you want to keep it like that, you don't want to become a, a video presenter personality but there's a couple of things you better respect and it makes the whole appearance and the attention level of your audience much better. Now the first thing that I want to talk to you about is sound. You might think, why sound? It's all video, it's all visuals, isn't it? But if you think of it, it's actually quite obvious why it is like that. If you have a transmission of a video signal, let's say from Africa, the connection is not that great and the picture of the presenter sometimes becomes a bit blurry or the PowerPoint slide disappears even every once in a while. It's not such a big deal as if the sound of the person becomes like this and, and, and you don't really know what he's actually been saying. Is Did I miss a proper, very important word in the meantime and all that. So what can you do to actually avoid that? Because this is all about avoiding things, not you know just giving you an impression what all can go wrong. So first of all, what you can do in the live session, you can... Make sure that your main presenters dial in via telephone and don't rely on the internet connection for the sound. Secondly, you can talk to your presenters and ask them to take out their cell phone, simple cell phone, whatever, and choose the sound recorder, voice recorder option and just make sure that they push the button, start the recording before they present and then after the whole thing is done, they close it and they send it off to the video guy. What I do then is I take that recording, the, the, the sound recording, and I match it with the recording from the session that I have from the presentation side, and I make sure that I substitute the sound. Therefore, I, I, have, I can make sure that the sound of the main presenters, of the moderators, is crisp and clear, which is the most important part. Uh, in, in this with Another thing with sound is actually the background noise. Uh, that might be obvious for some people. You need to close the windows, you should close the doors, you should make sure there's no people out in the passage having a party or there's maybe don't uh, choose a place where there's a lot of people going outside or there's a, a bathroom next door where there's always flushing of water all the time. These sort of things, that's obvious. But still, you need to put it on your checklist Remember, when you start, close the windows, close the doors, make sure there's nobody running outside or beforehand choose the right location in the first place. Another thing is, which is a bit more difficult, air conditions. They keep on humming and people are not really that aware of them when they sit there because they're used to the noise. But actually in the recording for other people, they're actually much more irritating than what people actually think. So make sure that you turn them off. Talking about noise, actually one more thing which is quite important. People nowadays often use laptops with built-in microphones and they're, they're brilliant. But obviously, you don't really sit that close to the microphone that you have that sort of intimate sound like you have like this and because you want to have a distance to your computer. So what is sometimes, especially if you have background sound that those kind of microphones pick up, what you do is you take one of those old-fashioned headsets, doesn't have to be one of those, can also be one of those things that stick in your stick in your ears. This has a certain advantage actually, because the microphone is usually made in a different way, so it doesn't pick up background sound. So in a way, it would pick up the sound. What you need to remember when you use a headset is Never put it up close to your mouth like this because if these things are sometimes a bit longer what happens is you have the constant <sighs> and that happens even if people are not even presenting. They don't turn off their microphone so the moderator doesn't really know what's going on and they also don't want to cut people off uh, properly all the time because they might want to ask a question and so forth. So they have the breather in. Now what you do is you just make sure that you keep this thing closer 
to the lower part of your of, of your mouth so you don't breathe into it all the time and what you also shouldn't do is constantly if somebody can't hear you because whatever happens in the in the automatic field there uh, microphones are turned off constantly start doing this because what it sounds like is is like this i show you this all the time yeah so leave it alone once you have it on and somebody says i can't hear you don't immediately go like this and, and do this, this sort of thing it's terrible now i want to show you one more thing if you want to go all out and make sure that the sound is really good it's not such a big deal to invest in something like a a proper microphone like this and it gives you a good sound what you can do is let me put it back here you can get a microphone one of those stands you put it on your table put the microphone in and all you have if you want to do this a little bit more often you have a proper sound throughout all your webinars and and your um, video interviews and so forth and I'm sure you can use it here and there just to be complete.